hello welcome to the viewers my channel so today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can launch a window instance in Workup Cloud the last video we have seen and how we can launch in a Linux instance on Oracle Cloud and then we also see how we can install the Apache and PHP server on on the Linux machine or instance and then how we can allow permissions um, by changing in the security list and network security group um, to allow or to allow the users to connect to the um, Apache servers so in this video tutorial let's go and see how we can launch an event instance and how we can connect okay so for that we can go from here instance and compute or we can click this hamburg icon and then we can go compute and then we can click instance perfect so this is my first instance which is on the linux so let me create the another instance so i just click on the create give it a name like moodle POC VM win so I'm going to create a window machine now what we need to do is we need to edit this one and select our image so platform image okay now I'm going to let's see what we can have other oracle images okay so kali linux custom images there's no custom image for oh, that we create a one vm image let's see the community image Okay, only one is there. So go to the platform image. Let's see if we can find Windows. So this is our window machine, and we can choose a different type of addition of window so let's go with the standard one okay let's go with the standard one okay select this image And then change the shape to the Intel let's go through with this standard 3 let me just choose 4 GB RAM Let's choose uh, 6 GB RAM. That's it. I don't need more than this right now. So I select the shape also. Now let's use the networking. I want to put it into the public subnet. Yes, because I want to access it from the outside. Okay. Specify the boot. So I'm giving it a 100 GB leave this as a default okay give it a name tag is name when i don't use this using in transit encryption so I leave it a blank if you want you can select those also ability configurations 
I go with the default one I go with the default one for the Oracle Cloud Agent as well okay so let's verify the settings again this is my machine name this is my compartment ability to domain one and fall domain is choose by default is choose by the oracles automatically capacity is on demand it's a windows server 2019 standard the shape is VM standard 3 flex with 1 OCPU and 6 GB RAM and 1 GBPS network bandwidth. Networking we have put into the public subnet. DNS record yes. Assign a public IP address yes. Okay, login and initial password originated when you create the instance. It will be available on the detailed screen for the newly launched instance. You must reset the password when you sign in. To the instance for the first time right perfect so we need to change our password when we first log in into the window machines that makes sense then the boot volume I choose default was was 50 GB so I make it a hundred GB I leave it as a default VPCU which give me 6000 IFs throughput 48 Mbps and rest all the setting I keep this default in tagging I give the name so always give the tag to your resources because once you tag the resources it's very become a very easy in near in futures when you want to um, check the resources utilizations by by searching those resources using the tag names even in billing you can also filter the resources billing by 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 filter those resources using their tag names so that's why so tagging is very important always make a standard rule in your organizations to provide a proper uh, tag names to all resources this is a very good um, um, you can see uh, practice that everybody should um, should adapt when they when they provision the resources on the cloud right so just go to create so now it's going to provisioning this right now it is showing the provisioning once this will create it show the running status here so this will take a while now in progress if you see the work request it is just completed the 10 persons so let me pause the video here for a while and I will come back once this instance will provision. Okay. Okay, so we have successfully created our instance, it's showing the percentage is hundred percent. And if you come up, you can see your private IP address. Now if you scroll up, you can see your public IP address as well as the username and the password initial password right so let me just log in with into this instance by using the public ip so i'm just copying this open the mstsc paste it connect okay so now it is not connecting so why it is not connecting because we have not allowed the port number 3389 so how do we do that just click on this handworks go to the networking and then open this virtual cloud network in another tab go to your virtual cloud network sections go to your network security groups create a network security groups model POC security group for or network security group for bin next stateless ingress source type sidor 
from anywhere protocol I want to allow RDP right description this allow RDP connections to my window server and then create once we create this come back to this tab again and click on this edit network security group and select this security group and then save change the setting now let's try again see so the username opc let me copy this password okay and type this password here to as Let me try again. Okay, so now it's asking me to change the password. Okay, let me put the password, new password here, mode, and the it. Okay, so my password has been changed. And here we have logged it into our account. Perfect. So let's see that internet is working. or not on this system yes internet is also working so this is how you can create a window instance on Oracle cloud infrastructures and you can log in into that through the RDP session so I hope you like this video tutorial, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.